Okay. I have a couple of questions. First, um, is related to my to my um, to my. Basically, I feel confused sometimes, and um, I been I stay at home for so long. I have two children, and I would like to study. I would like to to do something to be successful and all, do all that stuff. But then it seems like I don't know how to start. I would like to have a really excited, excited uh, job and something fun. But it seems like every time I, I, I think, of, okay, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that, it seems like I'm stuck. I don't know how to start. So. Well, it's, it's interesting and you very wisely and innocently said, but it seems like every time I want it, I feel stuck. So it's like wanting, but not allowing wanting, but not allowing because you're letting, you're letting your awareness of where you are dominate your vibration. And we were talking about that earlier. It's an easy thing to do, isn't it? Because what is, is so dominant. It's so evident. It's so much easier to notice. And our friend earlier, you heard him say, so if I can visualize it, but you don't know what to visualize because there's not enough detail. So it's helpful to think about what you want and why you want it. So why do you want, what do you want and why do you want it? Be as brief as you can. I want, I want to be successful. I want to have a really fun job, whatever I do. I want to be successful because. I want to be successful because I would like to pay everything we owe and I would like to be successful because I want a beautiful house in a beautiful sunny right. area. Now, before you go further, I would like to be successful. Why? Because I would like to pay everything we owe. Why? I want to, I want to leave, uh, uh, I want to be, um, without worries about financially because I want to feel better. Yeah. I want to be successful. Why? Because I want a beautiful house. Why? I want to enjoy my life. I want to because just... I, because it would feel good to be in a beautiful house. It would yes. feel good to enjoy my. So everything that you want, everything that everyone wants, you want because you think you would feel better in having it. So the process to get there is to feel better first. Many people say, well, give me the success and then I'll have a good feeling response. That's kind of what you're saying. I want to be successful because once I am successful, then I will feel good. Then, then I will feel happy in my house and I will feel happy when our bills are paid. And we say, but you have the, you, you don't have the ability right now, this red hot minute to pay off everything. And you don't have the ability, right? The financial ability right now to find your find and pay for your house right now. But you do have the ability to do the very thing that is the reason that you want to do those things. You have the ability to feel that way first. It's, it's, it's the idea of believing it before you see it rather than needing to see it before you believe it. It's a matter of finding the feeling of it. And so it really is about just practicing the feeling. Do you feel I'm doing better? I mean, a couple of years ago from now, do you, my vibration is better. You, you have to understand when we address you and acknowledge you, you already have all of those things. And so it is frankly really odd to us to hear you speaking as if you don't have them. <laughs> it's like, what kind of strange language is this? Because, because vibrationally speaking, it is already done. But we have the ability to feel the vibration of it and respond to that where you are still like most people responding to what you're seeing. It's just what we were talking about earlier. It just takes a little bit of practice. So let's make the, let's make the, the, uh, um, trek here from knowing what you don't want or from being aware of its absence to being more of aware of its presence. So. Do you think that you have the ability to be specifically negative about what's going on? In other words, could, can you, are you having any serious discomfort or unhappiness in your life relative to the lack of success? No. So we can't even, we can't even draw specific negative from you, but we could get some 
general negative from you. So be generally negative about where you are relative to this subject. Okay. Right now. <laughs> I don't like where I live not true too specific mm -hmm. do you really have anything to talk about <laughs> in other words things are going pretty well but you want more so but what kinds of things what kinds of discouraging things do you hear yourself saying I wish I wish I could what we will let you speak um I hate the rain say again <laughs> I hate the rain. <laughs> um, um, I don't like the clouds. Um, <laughs> I want a different house. Even though my house is beautiful, I, I just picture it completely different. Um, I want to change. I want something different. It's, I'm a person that likes changes. So living the same way for too long, I get bored with that. Um, so do you find her specific or general that's pretty specific keep going a little bit just a little bit um, I would like to find one of my passion is like... well, but, but we want you to play our game just a little bit because okay. because to say to say what you want from a place of feeling that's opposite doesn't get you very much movement be and so what we want to show you is how you can move from the specifically knowing what you don't want to the more generally knowing what you don't want until you actually feel a difference because you've already made your statement of what you want not just to us here but to the universe at large you've already put all of those things and so much more we if we tried to articulate what's in your vortex it would take more hours than we have to be together here today so your vortex is just full of all kinds of wonderful things that you want that are going to surprise you and delight you as they come into your manifestational view but in order to get to them more quickly which is what the point of this conversation is you have to move vibrationally so we want to show you we ask you if you thought you could be specifically negative and you said no almost anybody would because you don't want to be specifically negative it's like oh no I don't want to do that in fact I don't do that but yes you do Yes, you do. When you say, I, I'm not very happy where I live and I'm sort of bored with what's going on and I like change and that sort of thing, that's pretty specific. So, so give us a little bit more of that and then we're going to evoke from you more general statements about what you don't want. Why do you want a new house? What's, what's wrong with where you are? I don't feel it's my place to be. Um, I want some... Because? I want to be in a warm place um, uh, it's just a different house that's all because you see what's happening as you listen to her she sounds as if she's trying to say positive words doesn't she and that's a very good thing but saying the words isn't the same as feeling what you're saying and so maybe you are not specifically negative enough for us to get any movement from you because you're sort of stubborn about it as we try to guide you as we try to guide you into more specific negative you're not willing to go there and part of the reason is because you listen to those like us who have convinced you that it's always better to talk about what you do want mm -hmm. but we are trying to help you to understand that your words don't matter it's how you feel behind the words and so using words that sound good isn't enough you have to find and so sometimes it's worth figuring out how you really feel because if you don't get to the way you feel so that you can consciously feel a shift in the way you feel then you don't make any movement you see what we're getting mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. so so let's just start with you because you've convinced us that you are not specifically negative a little bit you've convinced us we don't are you convinced we're not really convinced but since, since we can't get you to go there just be generally negative with us then about mm -hmm. where you are negative okay um, I sometimes feel that I'm, I'm not worthy uh, because I haven't started, I haven't finished something. I, I got married too, too young and I've been at home and so I feel that I could, I could have already finished my career or be working, earning money, but I don't. Um, so 
That's how I feel. I've been right. cleaning the house. That's what I worry about. My cleaning the house, so cooking. It's pretty specific, isn't it? It's pretty specific and it's pretty heavy duty in the sense that I, I feel that I should be doing so much more than I'm doing, but I'm sort of locked in here and I've got some patterns set and I feel like I'm bogged down and things aren't really moving for me and I don't know the direction that I should go now and, and I, can't get a, I can't get a sense of what to do because nothing's showing itself to me and all I know is, is that I don't want to be here, which lets me know that I want to be somewhere else and I'd just like to get this whole thing sort of started. So, so we just did a sort of identification of where you are in a sort of complaining way from your point of view and it was specific enough that you could feel it and pretty accurate what you said and what we reflected back pretty accurate I, I want to move faster I want to get a, a, a faster run on life I want but it we're speaking it in a sort of complaining format now we're going to speak like that but in a more general sense things could be going a lot better for me than they are and I really wish that I could figure out what I'm supposed to do and I'm sort of bored with all of it because I can feel that something should be moving better for me but I'm sort of stuck here now it's more general and so it feels less um, uh, controlling so let's just stay there for a little longer until we until the general uh, negative takes a stronger hold mm -hmm. I, I guess I'll figure it out eventually, but it's taking me longer than I wanted it to. And when I look around at some others, I see that their lives all seem more interesting than mine. And the comparison is part of what's bothering me a little bit. And, and I think I had dreams when I was younger that I realize I have not achieved soon enough. And so that's part of what's bothering me is that I, I just want it to go faster but mostly I just want to feel more excited about life than I do I want to wake up feeling more interested in my day I want I want something that calls more through me so now that was all pretty general and it was also pretty complaining so now let's see if we can move from generally negative to more generally positive well things do have a way of working out for me my life is pretty good when I really look at it I don't have a lot to complain about but I suppose I'm always going to want something that's a little bit more than I have and I'm starting to believe that that is the way it is supposed to work that we are constantly here sorting and sifting for the purpose of expansion and boy can I feel the expansion bubbling within me and in many ways I like the feeling of the expansion bubbling within me unless I'm in a moment when I'm noticing that I'm not getting the expansion and then I'm kind of hard on myself but I don't want to be hard on myself I want to be happy more of the time and I want to notice when I am happy more of the time and I think I could do a better job of noticing when I'm happy more of the time and and I'm, I am I'm going to make a uh, do a, a more specific job of of appreciating where I am and I know that it will get better and I have a sense that things will get really better when I am really appreciating where I am more it's like my stuckness seems to be um, hinging around my awareness of what isn't happening where if I could just start appreciating the positive aspects of where I am that I, that might begin to loosen its grip just a little bit maybe my feeling of stuckness won't be so severe now does that did that feel a little better to you mm -hmm. did it feel better Definitely. to you for her in other words it was more general and felt a little better now you're in a more general place now you can begin to romp a little bit and and don't go faster than you feel like going you have to just sort of feel your way because as we were demonstrating with these cards if you get too specific before you've moved vibrationally it will backfire on you and you will just feel more dissatisfied with where you are so you want to take it nice and slow so that it feels better to you the vortex is a feeling experience because as you said you don't know where or when or who or how you just know what and why you what you want success and it's a it's a very big word and why because you deserve it and because you know it and because it's natural and because it should be but so let's see if we can make our way there from the general feeling of positive so things are going pretty well for me and I like the idea of them getting better and better and better and nothing is more exhilarating for me than to have a plan occur to me and then to execute my plan actually I'm pretty good at that and many of the things that I'm enjoying now in my life at one time were not even there and I made a plan and found my way to it so I know that I'm pretty good at this I think I just got too involved in observing what is 